next one, if we move up to C major 9 now, what that does is that it gives us sharp 5, root, natural 5, and, and a 7. So it's like a natural minor kind of sound, uh, or it sounds like an inversion of C major. Um, that. Uh, if you keep going, now C sharp, major 9 over E. Again, very dissonant, not very, uh, not very useful. Uh, so, never mind that one. Move up uh, another half step, D major 9 over E. And now uh, what you get is the 7, the 9, the 13, and the root. So basically you're getting like an E sus. sound. Um, and which is very useful. <laughs> and then the last one, the only one we have left is E flat major 9. And again that's not a very, um, uh, you know, it's, it's a very dissonant sound. Uh, again you have three notes right next to each other. So uh, I, I don't really use that one. And then we're back to E. So basically what you see is, is that by taking this chord that you know, you know, in addition to using this as a minor, as a major 9 chord, you can use it as a major 9 chord, as a Phrygian chord, you can use it as a minor chord, minor 9, minor 11, you can use it as an altered dominant chord, you can use it as a minor 7 flat 5 chord, and uh, you know, so so basically, just those those functions. Oh, and you can use it as a, as a, dom, a sus chord, and and that basically will cover uh, almost all of the harmony that you will need to to sort of um, provide in, in most instances. The the only real sound that you cannot get from using this major nine chord is is like a straight up unaltered dominant sound, like a, like a C9, 13 or something, because there's no tritone in the chord, so you don't get that relationship. So basically, when, if, if, you, uh, if you need to, uh, or if, if, if you want to use it over a, a uh, dominant chord situation, you basically have three options. Uh, you know, say if you have an e, e, E7 chord, your options are to either make it a sus chord, or an altered dominant, or you make it more like a Phrygian kind of kind of chord. Other than that, you know, you can uh, you can pretty much you know cover cover most uh, most types of harmony that you would encounter in any any standard and, and things like that. So uh, now let's uh, look at how to go about doing that. <laughs>